Visiting a rural community ravaged by wildfires, Chilean President Gabriel Boric consoled residents, promising aid to thousands of affected families. He also addressed fears of arson amid reports of people trying to deliberately light new fires. We have appointed a colonel for each county who will be in direct contact with the mayors, who will tell them exactly which area needs special patrolling. We know that improving a sense of security is very necessary to prevent uncivilized behavior of miserable people. Residents here say they're still in danger after surviving last weekend's wildfire. Last night we discovered a tree trunk on fire. It didn't catch on fire by itself. It happened right when two strangers were seen roaming the entrance after curfew. Navy Special Forces are being deployed on land and air on the lookout for arsonists who are suspected of having started a wildfire last Friday that destroyed entire neighborhoods. There's still a lot of questions as to how and why the worst natural disaster in Chile since the 2010 earthquake took place. The government is asking the European Union for assistance because of its expertise in wildfires, especially in highly populated areas. But the people who live here say that there are other things that need to be taken into account. They're referring to an incentive to burn land. Everyone can see that whatever forest or agricultural land has been ravaged by wildfires, soon after the land is sold for housing projects, first the fire, then the sale of the lots. I asked the Deputy Interior Minister about the allegation. For some time there's been a bill in Congress that would declare areas impacted by fires ineligible for building projects. It's unacceptable that there be a perverse incentive for wildfires to benefit private economic interests. Others are pushing for the government to increase penalties and try arsonists as terrorists. Whatever the cause or the motivation behind these fires, the outcome has been deadly. You see Newman Al Jazeera, Via Alemana, Chile. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.